Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at worked solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam which will be sat by students studying BTEC Level 3 Nationals in Engineering. Now the document that we're going to be referring to today are the sample assessment materials that are or have previously been provided on the Edexcel website and the document that we're going to be referring to in particular is Issue 1 of the sample assessment materials. Question 3 states that an engineering company manufactures injection moulded components that are produced in the form of sectors of circles. To determine the amount of material required, the area of the sectors of circles need to be calculated. And the question states, calculate the area of the component represented by the shaded sector. So this question is relatively straightforward, providing we understand what it's asking us to do. It's asking us to calculate the area of the shaded sector in the diagram. Well, we can calculate the area of the circle, and if we know the area of the circle, we can then determine what proportion or what fraction of the circle is shaded. Now, we know that there's 360 degrees in a circle, and we're only occupying 48 degrees of that 360 degrees. So as a fraction, the proportion of that circle that's shaded is just 48 over 360. Well, 48 divided by 360 as a decimal is 0 0.133 recurring. Now, the area of that circle is just going to be pi r squared. So here we're talking about the complete circle, pi r squared which is pi times 25 squared, giving us a total area of that circle equal to 1,963.5 millimetres squared. But the important thing here is we don't have all of the circle. We only have 0.133 recurring of that circle. So we need to do the area of the sector equals... 0.133 times 1963.5 and that will give us an answer of 261.8 millimeter squared. Now if you're comfortable with what we've done there you could actually do that in one go on your calculator and I'll write this in my answer line. You could do 48 over 360 for the fraction of the circle times pi times 25 squared and that would still give you the same answer 261.8 millimeters squared but it would save you quite a bit of time in the exam